Okay. <laughs> no, all good. Um, so what, what do you think is the, the biggest challenge in redesigning our food system? Um, like I think, at, you know, at the end of this conversation, we probably end up at overpopulation like we do with everything mm. with this, with the climate thing. Um, and it seems kind of insur insurmountable uh, as people love their kids. Go figure. Yeah. And, uh, um, but what do you, yeah, what do you think is our biggest challenge to redesign? Well, I, th I think the cool thing about, I mean, the, the cool and bad thing about the food system is um, it's actually not a question of supply. Um, there's two and a half billion tons of food wasted every year. Um, that's one third of all food produced. And actually, if you just recouped half of that, we, we could technically feed the world population. Um, so we have plenty of food. Um, it's really a logistics challenge. Um, and that's what we see on a micro scale with Rethink Food. Um, and like you said, like picking up the, the gelatos and the tapas and, you know, whatever food you have and getting it to community organization um, in the right amount of time and, and matching supply with demand, you know, like it's one thing to get tacos to, um, you know, in like to Chinatown, to a population where most people, you know, are, are Chinese or, or of Asian descent. Um, but that food actually might have, end up going into the trash because it's culturally unfamiliar. Um, it's another thing to get tacos yeah. to a community where, you know, most people are Hispanic and they're really excited about tacos and they're actually going to eat that because it's, it's part of their culture. Um, so, yeah, we see logistically on a, on a micro level and then also on a macro level, like there's just so many steps of, of the food transportation process um, and distribution process. Um, and at every single step, food gets wasted and, and thrown away. And um, yeah, it's just kind of creating like more intentional and efficient um, supply chains that can mitigate all of the food that goes to waste. And and yeah, we, we have enough food. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, that's, I'm just, I'm just so excited that people like you have decided to not, uh, be management consultants anymore and, yeah. and to dive into this uh, to this problem because you know there there is a lot of uh you know intellectual rigor in in the in the fight against climate change and creating these food systems so that all of us can live in an environment where we're not wasting everything and i think that's what capitalism has kind of created because if the idea is for us to be living in a world of convenience that means there always has to be something stocked and no one can ever go without what they need exactly when they need it, which is a, like, it's kind of ridiculous. It is totally ridiculous. And so if we're not yet ready to change how messed up our food system is as it, as it pertains to capitalism, then the best we can do now is, is exactly what you're, you're doing. And it's why I was so excited to, to have you on and, and hear all about this. So thank you so much for, uh, you know, joining me today and, and, you know, hopefully making me a little bit more informed for how this works. And, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll use more too, too, too good to go apps uh, while I'm in the city now to be more intentional. Yeah, that sounds great. Thanks so much, Michael. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Take care.